लेट्स डू ब्रह्मनाद ओ Dear student, now I will teach about colloidal state. Colloid is not a substance, but it is a state of a substance which depends upon the degree of solubility and molecular size. The word colloid is derived from two words. Number one is your cola, which means blue. Number two is your iodes, which means light. There are many examples of colloids. For example, glue, starch, gelatin. These are the examples of colloids. Next, I will discuss about the types of solution depending upon the size of the particles and also depending upon the solubility. Solutions are classified into three types number 1 is true solution number 2 is suspension number 3 is colloidal solution now i will explain about the true solution suspension and another is a colloidal solution depending upon the size of the particles and the solubility we generally classify the solution into three types one is a true solution another is a suspension another is a colloidal solution now i want to compare the three types of solution with each other first point is true solution is a homogeneous solution on the other hand suspension is a heterogeneous solution on the other hand colloidal solution is also a heterogeneous solution the size of the particle in true solution is less than 10 to the minus 9 on the other hand the size of the particles in suspension is more than 10 to the minus 7 meter on the other hand the size of the particle in colloidal solution is in between 10 to the minus 9 meter to 10 to the minus 7 meter in this case filtration of the solution cannot be possible by both ordinary both ordinary filtration and also and also by ultra filtration on the other hand suspension can be filtered by ordinary filtration while colloidal solution can be filtered by ultra filtration but it is not possible by ordinary filtration next point is the particles of the true solution cannot be shattered on the other hand the particles of suspension can be shattered by gravitational force while the particles of the colloidal solution can be shattered by centrifugation 
नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज ट्रू सोल्यूशन डू नॉट सो टेंडर इफेक्ट ऑन द अदर एंड सस्पेंशन सोस टेंडर इफेक्ट वाइल पोलाइडल सोल्यूशन ऑल्सो सो टेंडर इफेक्ट ट्रू सोल्यूशन सोस नेग्लिजिबल ब्राउनियन ब्राउनियन मूवमेंट ऑन द अदर हैंड सस्पेंशन में सो ब्राउनियन मूवमेंट वाइल कोलाइडल सोल्यूशन सो ब्राउनियन मूवमेंट द पार्टिकल्स ऑफ ट्रू सोल्यूशन डिफ्यूजेस रैपिडली ऑन द अदर हैंड द पार्टिकल्स ऑफ सस्पेंशन do not diffuses while the particles of colloidal solution diffuses slowly next point is the appearance of true solution is transparent while the appearance of suspension is opaque on the other hand the appearance of colloidal solution is translucent example of true solution is solution of sugar in water example of suspension is dirty particles in water examples of colloidal solution is starch in water these are the different points regarding about true solution suspension and colloidal solution next i will explain about the colloidal solution colloidal solution made by two phases number 1 is your dispersed phase number 2 is your dispersion media in the colloidal solution the minor portion is called dispersed phase which is equivalent to the solute on the other hand the major portion of the colloidal solution is called dispersion medium which is equivalent to solvent for example in the colloidal solution of gold in water the gold is the dispersed phase while the water is the dispersion medium next i will explain about the classification of colloidal solution there are different way for the classification of colloidal solution at first i will discuss about the classification of colloidal solution basing upon basing upon the interaction of phase depending upon the nature of interaction between dispersed phase and dispersion medium colloidal solution are classified into two types such a number 1 is lyo philic colloidal solution number 2 is your leo hobi colloidal solution at first i will discuss about the lyo philic colloids the colloidal solution in which the dispersed phase have more affinity towards the dispersion medium that type of colloidal solution are called lyophilic colloidal solution for example gum starch gelatin these are the examples of lyophilic colloids on the other hand the colloidal solution in which the dispersed has has no affinity for the dispersion medium then such type of colloidal solution are generally considered as 
लायोकोबी कोलेटरल सॉल्यूशन एग्जांपल इज योर सॉल्यूशन ऑफ मेटल लाइक कॉपर गोल्ड सिल्वर एक्सेट्रा एंड हाइड्रोक्साइड लाइक एल ओ एच राइस एपी ओ एच राइस एक्सेट्रा दीज आर द एग्जांपल ऑफ लायोफिलिक कोलेटरल सॉल्यूशन दीज आर द एग्जांपल ऑफ लायोफोबी कोलेटरल सॉल्यूशन नाउ आई विल एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन लियोफिलिक कोलाइड्स एंड लियोफोबिक कोलाइड्स फर्स्ट इज लियोफिलिक नेक्स्ट इज योर लियोफोबिक दिस इज योर लियोफिलिक कोलाइड्स दिस इज योर लियोफोबिक कोलाइड्स फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज लियोफिलिक कोलाइड्स आर इजीली फॉर्म बाय डायरेक्ट मिक्सिंग ऑन द अदर हैंड लियोफोबिक कोलाइड्स कैन नॉट बी फॉर्मड इजीली बाय डायरेक्ट मिक्सिंग इट कैन बी फॉर्म बाय स्पेशल मेथड second point is lyophilic colloids are reversible in nature on the other hand lyophobic colloids are irreversible in nature in case of lyophilic colloids the size of particles are small while the size of particles is large in case of lyophobic colloids the concentration is more in case of lyophilic colloids while the concentration is less in case of lyophobic colloids these particles are not easily visible even under powerful ultra microscope while these particles are easily visible under powerful ultra microscope these are quite stable and are not easily coagulated on the other hand in case of lyophilic colloids these are unstable and are easily coagulated these particles may or may not carry any charge but these particles always carry positive or negative charge these particles may migrate in any direction or may not migrate at all on the other hand in this case these particles migrate either towards anode or either towards cathode in this case the surface tension and viscosity always more than the surface tension and viscosity of the dispersion medium on the other hand in this case the surface tension and viscosity always nearly same as compared with the viscosity and surface tension of the dispersion medium it shows high value of colloidal property on the other hand it shows low value of colloidal property these are the difference between lyophilic colloids and lyophobic colloids next i will discuss about the another classification of colloidal solution that is the classification of colloidal solution basing upon basing upon appearance basing upon appearance colloidal solution are classified into two types one is your sol another is your gel the colloidal solution which appears like fluid are called sol on the other hand the colloidal solution which appear like rigid structure rigid structure are called gel if the dispersion medium for a sol is water 
then that is called hydrosol in the dispersion medium for a sol is alcohol then that is called alcosol in the dispersion medium for a sol is benzene then that is called benzosol gelatin act both sol and gel at a high temperature and low concentration gelatin act as a sol on the other hand at a low temperature and high concentration gelatin act as a gel These are the classification of colloidal solution basing upon the appearance. Next, I will discuss about the another classification basing upon the nature of charge. Basing upon nature of charge. Basing upon the nature of charge on the dispersed phase. Colloidal solution are classified into two types. One is your positive sol, another is your negative sol. Sols of FeOH three, LOH three, basic dyes like methylene blue. methylene blue are considered as positive sol on the other hand sols of copper silver metal sulfide such as such as cds etc are considered as negative sol h2 o3 Also considered as negative sol. This is the classification of colloidal solution basing upon the nature of charge. Next, I will discuss about the classification of colloidal solution basing upon the molecular size. Basing upon the molecular size, the colloidal solution are classified into three types. Number one is multi molecular colloidal solution number 2 is macro molecular colloidal solution number 3 is associated associated colloidal solution at first i will discuss about the multi molecular colloids on dissolution a large number of atoms or simple molecule Which having size less than one mm, aggregated together to form particles of colloidal size. Then the particles so formed are called multi-molecular colloids. For example, salts of gold, sulfur are the examples of multi-molecular colloids. in case of multi molecular colloids the molecular size is very small in case of multi molecular colloids the atoms or simple molecules are held together by weak van der waals force of attraction now i will discuss about the macro molecular colloids on dissolution when substance having large size molecule form colloidal solution in which the dispersed has having colloidal dimension then the particles so formed are called macro molecular colloids examples of macro molecular colloids are polymer polymer of rubber nylon protein Starch. These are the examples of macro.
macromolecular collides. In case of macromolecular collides, the molecular mass is very high. Next point is in case of macromolecular collides due to long chain, the hydrogen force is stronger. Next, I will discuss about the associated collides on dissolution when a substance in a medium at a low concentration behave as an electrolyte but at high concentration when the same substance behave as in colloidal particles then such type of colloidal particles are called associated collides example is a soap, soles, detergent these are the example of associated collides. In this case, the molecular mass is higher. Higher is the concentration, higher is the mineral force of attraction. These are the classification of colloidal solution depending upon the molecular size. Next, I will discuss about the properties of Colloidal solution. The colloidal particle constituting the dispersed phase do not diffuse through the parchment paper. Second point is the color of the colloidal particle is not always same as the color of the substance taken in the ball colloidal solution shows the colligative property like relative lowering in vapor pressure elevation elevation of boiling point Depression of depression of freezing point and osmotic pressure. Since the size of the colloidal particle is very small, so the colloidal particle provides larger surface area and the colloidal particle act as a good catalyst. Next I will explain about the optical properties of colloidal solution. This can be clearly explained by the help of Tendal effect. It is an important two or three mark question. What is Tendal effect? The phenomenon of scattering of the light by colloidal particles as a result of which the path of the beam becomes visible is called tendal effect. So I can write the phenomenon of the phenomenon of scattering of light by colloidal particles as a result of which as a result of which the path of the beam becomes visible are called tender effect and the illuminated path is called tendal cone. This is the diagrammatical representation to explain the tendal effect in a container some colloidal solution is taken and it is subjected to a beam of light when a beam of light passes through the 
collateral solution then the path of the beam clearly visible by microscope this type of effect is called tendal effect this path is called tendal cone we can explain the tendal effect by using some example just like sky looks blue sea water looks blue twinkling of star this type of example clearly explained by the help of tendal effect tendal effect also used to confirm the heterogeneous nature of colloidal particles tendal effect also used to distinguish between true solution and colloidal solution colloidal solution generally shows tendal effect on the other hand true solution do not show tendal effect what are the condition for tendal effect first condition is the wavelength of the light used for tendal effect must be greater than the diameter of the particles constituting the dispersed phase second condition is the difference in the value of refractive index of dispersed phase and dispersion medium must be appreciable in case of leo hobi colloidal solution the tendal effect is well defined because the difference between the values of refractive index of the dispersed phase and dispersion medium is appreciable on the other hand in case of lyophilic colloids the dispersed phase is more solvated in dispersion medium that's why the difference between the value of refract index of the dispersed phase and dispersion medium is very low as a result this effect is very low in case of lyophilic colloids that's why in case of lyophilic colloids the tendal effect is not well defined next i will explain about the mechanical properties of colloidal solution it can clearly explain by the help of brownian brownian movement suppose uh, i will take a colloidal solution in a container in case of colloidal solution the colloidal particles always moves randomly in a zigzag manner like this this is your diagrammatical representation for the brownian movement of the colloidal particles so we can define the brownian movement like this the zigzag random motion of the colloidal particles observed through ultra microscope is called brownian movement the brownian movement is due to the unequal bombardment of the colloidal particles of the dispersed phase with the colloidal particle of the dispersion medium it act against the gravitational force acting on the colloidal particles smaller is the size of the colloidal particles larger is the brownian movement the upper limit of the size of the colloidal particle showing the brownian movement must be 4000 angstrom the brownian movement is independent upon the wavelength of the light but it increases with increase of the temperature by the help of brownian movement we can clearly explain about the kennedy theory it is also applied in the determination of avogadro's number this is all about the brownian movement next i will explain about the electrical properties of colloidal solution 
it can clearly explain by the help of electrophoresis electrophoresis is a process in which the migration of colloidal particles takes place under the influence of electric field electrophoresis is generally used to remove the carbon particles from the smoke and dark particles from the sludge it is also used for the separation of amino acids and protein from a mixture by the help of electrolysis we can able to determine the charge of the colloidal particles this is the diagrammatical representation for electrophoresis look at that under the application of electric field the anion goes to the anode this is due to the influence of the electric field this type of property of the colloidal particles are called electrophoresis next i will discuss about the coagulation the phenomenon of the phenomenon of precipitation precipitation of a colloidal solution by the addition of excess of an electrolyte is called is called coagulation that means suppose i want to take a colloidal solution in a container the colloidal particle undergoes coagulation by addition of excess amount of electrolyte this process is called coagulation coagulation generally based upon hardy's cross rule hardy's cross rule according to hardy's cross rule the ions which carry opposite ions to the soul are more effective the second rule is coagulating power of an electrolyte is directly proportional to the valency of the active ions these are the two rules basing upon these two rule generally coagulation takes place in a colloidal solution now i will take some example to explain the second rule that is your coagulating power of an electrolyte is a direct proportional to the valency of the active ions to coagulate the negative sol such as h to s3 the coagulating power of different cations has been found to decrease in the order like l3 plus greater than mg2 plus greater than na plus look at that for the coagulation of s2 s3 generally l3 plus having more coagulating power than mg2 plus which is having more coagulating power than na plus look at that in this case the active ion that is l3 plus having valency 3 in this case valency 2 in this case the valency is 1 in this case the valency is 3 so l3 plus having more coagulating power to the negative sol h2 s3 we know that the ion which carry opposite charge to the sol are more effective for coagulation of that sol for the coagulation of h2s3 here the opposite ion that is your l3 plus having more coagulation power as compared to mg2 plus as compared to na plus active ions 
Similarly, we can think about another example to calculate a positive soul such as happy OH price. The coagulating power of different anions has been found to decrease in the following order happy CN60 4 minus more than PO4 3 minus more than SO4 2 minus more than CL minus. This is your positive soul, so we generally require the electrolyte which carry negative active ions. When we add excess of an electrolyte into a collateral solution then coagulation takes place. Remember an important point, the minimum concentration of an electrolyte which is required to cause the coagulation or propagation of a solution is known as Fluctuation value. Fluctuation value. Coagulation is also called fluctuation. Clear? Next, I will explain about the gold number. The number of milligram. The number of milligram of protective collides which prevents which prevents the coagulation of coagulation of 10 ml gold soul by the addition of by the addition of 1 ml 10 percent NaCl solution to it. That means see we can able to stop the coagulation by adding protective collides. How much of milligram of protective collide is produced to, to prevent the coagulation of 10 ml gold soil by the addition of 1 ml 10 percent NaCl solution to it that is called gold number. We take some example protective collides gold number. Gelatin having gold number 0.1 dextrin having gold number 20 saponin having gold number 115 potato starch having gold number 20 similarly Hemoglobin having gold number 0 0.03 to 0 0.07 and albumin having gold number 2.5 gum arabic having gold number 0.5 Next I will explain about the emulsion Emulsion is a colloidal system of two immiscible two immiscible liquids one of which is dispersed throughout the other in small droplet. Emulsion are of two types one is a oil in water emulsion Second is water in oil emulsion. Let me discuss about oil in water emulsion. In oil in water emulsion, oil is the dispersed haze on 
on the other hand water is the dispersion medium look at that in this diagram this is your dispersion medium that is considered as water this is your dispersion medium and these are considered as dispersed phase the examples of oil in water emulsion are milk milk in water bhanis cream these are the examples of oil in water emulsion next i will discuss about the water in oil emulsion in water in oil emulsion the dispersed phase is water while the dispersion medium is oil look at that your oil is the dispersion medium water is the dispersed phase examples of water in oil emulsion is butter cod liver cold cream these are the examples of water in oil emulsion the stability of an emulsion depends upon two factors number one is your toughness of the emulsion emulsifier factor number two is electric electric charge on emulsified particle emulsified particles these are the two factors which affects the stability of emulsion next i will discuss about the properties of emulsion emulsion are colloidal system emulsion exhibit all the electrical mechanical and optical property of colloids like your brownian movement tunnel effect electrophoresis coagulation like this the size of emulsified particles ranges from 1000 angstrom to 10 1000 angstrom these are the properties of emulsion next i will explain about the uses of emulsion first use is concentration of the force second use is in medicine
method number two is condensation method. Condensation method is also called aggregation method. Aggregation method. At first, I will discuss about the dispersion method. In dispersion method, the porous particles is converted into colloidal particles. There are different types of dispersion method. First is mechanical. Mechanical dispersion method. Second is electro dispersion method. It is also called Briggs arc method. Third is papetization. In mechanical dispersion method, generally the substance is finely ground and then second with the dispersion medium to form porous suspension. Then the porous suspension is converted into colloidal particles by the help of Colloidal mill. The electro dispersion method generally applicable for the preparation of colloidal solution of metal like silver, gold, platinum, etc. In papetization method, a precipitate is converted into colloidal particles by means of chemical. Next, I will discuss about the condensation method. The condensation method generally deals with the some important reaction. One is your double decomposition reaction second is oxidation reaction third is reduction reaction fourth is hydrolysis arsenium sulfide sol is generally prepared by passing H2S gas through a dilute solution of H2O3 and excess amount of H2S is removed by boiling the arsenious sulfide source. I can write the reaction H2O3 plus H2S gives the H2S3 plus H2O. This is your yellow in color. This is your colloidal soul. This is your a double decomposition reaction. Similarly, when H2S is treated with the sulfur dioxide, then sulfur colloidal soul is formed. The sulfur colloidal sol is a light yellow colored aqua sol. This is an oxidation reaction. Similarly, when AuCl3 is treated with the SnCl2, then SnCl4 and Au is formed. This is your Gold soul. The color of this gold soul is violet. This is 
is a redoxon reaction. Similarly, FeOH3 is sol is prepared by the hydrolysis of FeCl3. This is a hydrolysis reaction. Similarly, we can take another examples for hydrolysis reaction just like hydrolysis of LCL3 and also hydrolysis of sodium silicate when LCL3 undergoes hydrolysis then LOS3 colloidal sol is formed similarly when sodium silicate undergoes hydrolysis then Silicate is formed, which is also a colloidal sol. There is also another reaction related to the condensation method. That is the exchange of solvent. By the exchange of solvent, we can able to form colloidal solution. For example, sulfur and phosphorus are soluble in alcohol. When alcoholic solution of sulfur is poured in excess of water, then hydrosol is formed. The substance present in molecular state in alcohol precipitated out in water in the form of particles of colloidal size. This is your considered exchange of solvent. This is all about the method of evaluation of colloidal solution. Next I will explain about the purification of colloidal solution. The colloidal solution are rendered unstable by the presence of impurities. These impurities are therefore removed by suitable method such as number one is dialysis, number two is ultra filtration. At first I will discuss about the dialysis. The process of separating a crystalloids from a colloidal solution by diffusion through a parchment membrane is called dialysis and the apparatus which are used for dialysis are called dialyzer there are two type of dialyzer number one is your grams Dialyzer number two is electro dialyzer. Next, I will explain about the ultra filtration. The separation of colloids from crystalloids can also be made by ultra filtration. We know that generally ordinary filter paper have porous larger than 10 to the minus 6 meter that's why the crystalloids and the colloidal particles can easily pass through the ordinary filter paper the porous of the ordinary filter paper can be made smaller by soaking it in a solution of gelatin or colloidal and then subject it to harden with a formaldehyde the porous dust become very small so as not to allow the colloidal particle to pass through them only the crystalloids can pass through such filter paper leaving behind the colloidal solution. The filter paper is known as ultra filter and the process
process is called ultra filtration cellophane cellophane membrane is a, a good ultra filter next i will explain about the uses of collides there are large number of uses of collides first use is in medicine medicine in colloidal form are easily absorbed by the body tissues and hence the medicine in colloidal form are more effective as compared to other next application is sewage disposal the colloidal particles of the dirt mud etc carry electric charge hence when sewage water is passed through the plate kept at a high potential then the colloidal particles are get coagulated due to electrophoresis next application is purification of water the precipitation of colloidal impurities present in water can be done by adding certain electrolytes like alum next application is cleansing action of soap soap solution is a colloidal in nature it removes the dirt particle either by adsorption or by emulsifying the greasy matter sticking on the cloth next application is formation of delta river water contains charged colloidal particles of clay sand and many other material under the process of centrifugation these particles settle down at the point of contact of river with the sea to form delta next application is small precipitation smoke particles are actually electrically charged colloidal particle of carbon in the air so it is precipitated easily on the principle of electrophoresis next application is photography a colloidal solution of silver bromide is applied on a glass plate or celluloid films or paper to form sensitive plate in photography next application is artificial rain artificial rain can be created by spraying the oppositely charged sand clay particles over the cloud then the colloidal water particles present in the cloud will be neutralized and coagulated to form bigger water drops causing artificial rain next application is rubber industry latex is a colloidal solution of negatively charged rubber particle from latex rubber can be obtained by coagulation this is also an application of collides next application is a smoke screen this type of application generally used in warfare in warfare smoke screen are used which are nothing but colloidal dispersion of certain substances in the air next application is stoppage of bleeding blood is a colloidal solution 
and the stoppage of bleeding on applying ferric chloride solution is due to coagulation of blood forming a clot next application is blue color of sky blue color of sky is due to scattering of light by colloidal dust particle in air next application is blue color of sea water sea water looks so blue due to scattering of light by the colloidal impurities present in the sea water next application is formation of tail of comet the tail of comet is seen due to the scattering of light by tiny solid particle left by the comet in its path these are some application of collides that is all about the chapter